loop. Even I, when I heard it, knew it was more than just a fire. How did I know that? Because I have the Holy Spirit and because He knows the truth. It was not just a fire. That's all I'm going to say about it. It was not just a fire. But people are in the dark. They don't know what's going on. They don't know. They don't know. We're in the dark. In the dark is where you're being sifted. You're too busy trying to curl up and defend yourself to fight back and be a threat. We're wrestling in the dark. Let me ask you a, a question. Why did they blindfold Jesus? Was that necessary? They captured him. They bound him. They abused him. Why did they blindfold him? Somebody tell me why. Huh? I don't know. They wanted him to be in the dark, or they thought they had him in the dark, but he wasn't in the dark. I couldn't see. I think it was quite symbolic, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. I think that they wanted to put him in the dark. Mm -hmm. Yes. The Bible says that they blindfolded him, smote him, and said, if you know everything, Tell us who smote you. He answered them not a word. Quite frankly, I guarantee you he knew who smote him. But it was a symbolic gesture. I've got you in the dark. Which is where Satan wants you. In the dark. When you don't know, you're no threat. Why did they blind Samson? They had him bound. Why did they put his eyes out? Why did they do that? Did they need to do that? No. His covenant wasn't in his eyes. It was a symbolic gesture. If we've got you in the darkness. That is a principle, y'all. If Satan can keep us in the dark, he's got us. That's why the Word is the light to our path and the, and the lamp for our feet. Because it, the truth, uncovers what's in the darkness. Psalm 91, verse 6. Be not afraid of the terror by night and the pestilence that walketh in the darkness. This nation was stricken with a pestilence. It was named COVID-19. Pestilence walks in the darkness. It does not get born in the light. And it was a dark, dark pestilence because it took valuable lives. It was an element of weaponry forged by Satan himself. It was not of God and it was not just your average, quote, sickness. It was a weapon. But we were in the dark. We did not know what was going on. And when you don't know, when you are in the dark, you are no threat to him. That's where he wants you. He wants to neutralize you. Right. He wants to strip you. He wants to sift you. He wants you to be on the defensive, not the offensive. The truth is a sword. It manifests 
what's in the light. What did I say at the beginning of this year? This is the year of what? Manifestation. Manifestation. Satan heard that. He don't want that. He wants darkness, not manifested, not manifested truth that shows what's going on. The very first thing God did when he came in Genesis at creation was dispel the darkness so he could work in the light. What did he do? He didn't mention the darkness. He didn't touch the darkness. He simply spoke to the light and the light took care of the darkness. He took away the dominion of darkness with the light. That's the truth. Truth is light. Light is truth. Jesus is the light of the world and he is the word of God in flesh. God's first act in this world was to take away the dominion of darkness. And it wasn't until man let it back in that we got in the mess that we're in. Predators hunt at night. Predators hunt at night. It's at night where the sheep flock is at danger from the wolves. It is at night where the lion and the bear attack in the darkness because we can't see, but the darkness is where they thrive. I want to say to you, Satan is a predator. He works in the darkness. And as long as he can keep you in the dark and you don't know what's going on, you are his prey, not his enemy. Why didn't the Jews recognize Jesus when he came? Why? My Bible says Satan had blinded their minds. He was right in front of them. He was teaching them. He was healing them. He was feeding them. He was being observed by them. And they still did not see him. Why? They were in darkness. The Bible says it was like a veil of darkness. If they didn't see him the first time, what makes us think they're going to see him the second time? The same darkness. I want to say to you that it's time for the church to wake up and quit groping in the dark. We need to understand what's going on. You cannot win if you don't know what you're fighting. And that's where I've been this week. Sifting. Being sifted. Questioning God what about this? What is this? Show me this. Help me see this. I want, I want to know, Lord. I want to, I want more. I want you to, to help me understand. I, 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 I need to be more effective. The devil thought he was doing me harm. God takes curses and turns them into blessings. I have never been more determined to preach the truth than I am this very moment. I am not detoured or deterred. I am not intimidated and I am not afraid. I want to tell you I know who God is and that helps me know who I am. And I
I'm going to preach the truth. The devil's trying to shut me up. You can say, well, you know, everybody could say that. Listen. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. The prophets were depositories of truth. And if they were depositories of truth, they were depositories of light. Because truth is light. That's the reason the devil raised up false prophets. To muddy the water, to cloud the issues, so that you say, well, that's just another prophet. No, God does not deposit truth in false, fake prophets. He does not. What they say is not what God deposits. What they say is completely different. And forget the fact that prophets belong in the church. Prophets were sent into the world. And that's where they work. In the world. Prophets are reservoirs. They are, we have this treasure in earth and vest. They are deposits of truth. That shed light, 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 so that the people can see and not dwell in darkness and not be wondering and stymied and not trying to figure out what's going on. Right. Yes. Amen. I will not be silent. And I will not behave. That's right. Mm -hmm. I will not comply. Will not either. comply. Will not comply. I couldn't wait to get here today because I knew you had something to say. I knew it. Hallelujah. Well, I hope you're not disappointed. I know. Because I have told you truth today that cost me to bring. I paid for it. And I'm not done, I got to tell you. Holy Spirit is working, feverishly working because he's trying to wake up the church. Yes. Mm -hmm. The church is the sleeping giant, and God wants us in the light, not in the dark. That's right. Stand up on your feet.